Spirit. I can't wait to see my body. My old lady. You're old. I may only hope that this letter finds you alive. To prevent my computer's display screen from turning 360 degrees, or from hopping around the room spouting sinister obscenities that are mostly quite reminiscent of Mr. Stephen Hawking's voice, is this laptop is currently tied by rusty chains. The only chains I can grasp in such a hurry as this, and down in the basement no less, onto my coffee table with the volume muted, and the speaker thrown into a fireplace. I've shut the tube socket for this time, preventing more spew bombs, for the socks must be changed to mend them due to the puke green soap. And I'm running out of socks. Every letter on this keyboard shocks my fingers like a 1.21 gigawatt. And now they are hard to read. Most of them are difficult to discern since they constantly warp. It's ghastly. Numerals are devilish grins. Oh my what man, you'll never guess what creature has been feeding evil into this computer. I first perceived of its existence in the basement, where distinct, squishy, scuttling sounds of tiny boots were heard. The doors remain locked, but I fear the computer may understand the emails that I see. If it isn't tied down, a knife may find its sharp way into my back. Behind the monitor, along the groove, of the evil switch, thanks for the information by the way, which now by any means is not even a real switch at all, but has been converted into an actual digestion of souls compressor, also typically called the crusher. I found this newfangled contraption has no good money at all. while typing on this blood red screen that looks to be an effect of covered, dripping, drooping human insides that made into mushy ooze upon it. But, I digress. There is a far greater, much more important task at hand. I gather so, after dusting for the perpetrator. I gather so. After dusting for the perpetrator's fingers, I find only that one species, relatively unknown to man, is the cause of all of this. It's a godforsaken gnome. He must have been the one in the thing. And his scare tactics have reached a definite pinnacle. No longer does he hide the fact of his presence. On the contrary, Apparently is tall enough to put a broomstick under the ceiling, underneath my bedroom. Or what I can only hope is merely a broomstick. I keep telling myself to be strong. And be strong. Oh my one man. Truly, I am almost positive that in order to correct the doctor's souls, the crushers only accept social security cards. This would explain why after checking the history of the green pool of lost Americans, Underneath this computer's head, we go newfound file, green pool of lost stupid heads. Your name appears in the vast array. No, scratch that. The myriad of stolen identities. I'm currently researching Wikipedia for a way to break free. However many lost souls are inside this damnable computer. I truly fear and believe that the pinnacle is finally reached at some number in between 600 and 700. Thankfully, I have my social security card just straight in between my butt cheeks. Though, please believe me when I say your soul is top priority. As it is already in far too great a danger. You are my best players in the day and night. But I am fucking scared. With Godspeed and swift haste.
damn end already. So what I did was I um, I recorded this straight to the computer. <laughs>